You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. This is not what you might call a fatalistic or deterministic idea. You see, you might be a fatalist if you think that you are a sort of puppet which life pushes around. You are separate from life, but life dominates you. That's fatalism. But in the point of view I am expressing, the real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. The real deep down you is the whole universe. And it's doing your living organism and all its behavior. It's expressing it as a singer sings a song. We've been hoodwinked into the feeling that we exist only inside our skins. And I was showing last night that that is a hallucination. It's just as nutty as anybody could be, like a fruitcake, you know, who thinks he's Napoleon or something or other. Who thinks he's a poached egg and goes around finding a piece of toast to sit on. It's just a, like that, a hallucination. And I was showing how we need to experience ourselves in such a way that we could say that our real body is not just what's inside the skin but our whole total external environment because if we don't experience ourselves that way we mistreat our environment we treat it as an enemy we try to beat it into submission and if we do that comes disaster. We exploit the world we live in. We don't treat it with love and gentleness and respect. We cut down millions of acres of forests to turn it into newspaper of all things. Lovely trees turned into information about nothing and we don't replace them properly we kick the world around in revenge the feeling that really we are puppets which the world kicks around so my main point last night was then that we need a new kind of consciousness in which every individual becomes aware that his real self is not just his conscious ego. You know, let's take a headlight of a car. The headlight shines on the road in front. The headlight does not shine on the wire which connects it with its own battery. So in a way, the headlight is unaware of how it shines. And in the same way, we are unaware of the sources of our consciousness. We don't know how we know. There was a young man who said, though, it seems that I know that I know. What I would like to see is the I that knows me when I know that I know that I know. And so we are ignorant of, we ignore. It doesn't come within the scope of our attention how it is that we manage to be conscious, how it is that we manage to grow our hair, to shape our bones, to beat our heart, and to secrete all the necessary fluids that we need from our glands. We do it, but we don't know how we do it. Because you see, underneath the superficial self, which pays attention to this and that, there is another self, more really us than I. And if you become aware of that unknown self, the more you become aware of it, the more you realize that it is inseparably connected with everything else that there is. That you are a function of this total galaxy bounded by the Milky Way, and that furthermore, this galaxy is a function of all other galaxies. 
that vast thing which you see far off, far off, far off from telescopes. Look, 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 look. One day you're going to wake up and say, why that's me?